let's consider a bar that has a variable cross section. And of course we could we could put in the actual change in, in A as we go from 0 to L, but we could also break the thing up into uniform finite elements that have constant cross section, right? So this, so now we have element 1, node 1, 2, element 3, node 4, okay? So this is a constant cross section A1, constant cross section A2, constant cross section A3, and each of these, so this is actually, the total length is 3L, uh, each of these has Young's modulus E length L. So you, I think you, you get the picture that while this is a very coarse discretization, it doesn't match the geometry well if we refined it. So if we had, say, 100,000 elements across there, then the difference in the actual shape and the, the difference in the area of the actual shape and the <coughs> and the uh, approximated constant area would be very small, right? Just like, this is like an integration with trapezoid rule or something. So anyway, I just wanted to do it this way because it, you know, it results in a nice stiffness matrix. So we have A1E over L minus A1E over L minus a 1 e over L. And here you have a 1 plus a 2 e over L minus a 2 e over L. Here you have a 2 plus a 3 e minus A2 E over L. All right, so there's our stiffness matrix. We have four unknowns. In this case, we just have P, 0, 0, 0. We know this guy will be singular. Uh, we know that U1 is 0 at x equals 0. So that means that this has to be 0, this has to be 1, this has to be 0. And so then we just solve this matrix equation to get the solution for the other displacements. And I won't do that. but. So just a couple, I mean, that, that's basically it. We, we derived a finite element formulation in 1D for this kind of model equation. And a couple of just points. I mean, the reason we use the weak form, remember, we shift, when we do the weak form, we shift the continuity requirement onto the test function, right? One of the derivatives. And so we, that's why it's called the weak form. We've weakened the continuity requirement of the solution. And, there, and then enforce the continuity on, on the test function. And uh, the other thing, the other advantage of it is that we get a symmetric stiffness matrix. You notice the ones that we, the examples we've worked, the stiffness matrix is symmetric, and that makes it easy to solve in a computer. So, Question, one question you might have.